What's up, guys, on YouTube? I've been fishing with this rebel here for 50 something years, and I can't tell you the number of big bass I've caught on it recently. I caught my personal best on this black and silver, five and a half inch. Done a lot of fishing with it, but I hadn't talked a whole lot about it. I hadn't done a review on it. Just got this in from their website. Each one of these lures sells retail for $6.99, which I think is a great deal. They're five and a half ounces. I mean, five and a half inches long, probably about an ounce. Got the big hooks on them. I can't tell you how important big hooks are to catching big fish. Big fish can sling little hooks. They don't go in deep enough. But when they get hooked on these, nine times out of 10, they're hooked. But what we've got here today, this lure has been around since 1960s. This particular one here is the blue and silver. Which is great clear water. This is one of my favorites is the black and silver. Looks like a, a minnow, a big minnow. Big bass love big meals, and this is definitely giving them a big meal. Now this one, I've had smaller broken backs, but this is the first time I've ever had a five and a half inch broken back. And it's got the big hooks on it. This is the same length as the uh, Mustad, I mean the uh, straight minnows. These things run about two, two and a half feet, three feet deep. When you hit the water with them, they'll float and they'll sit there. And ideally what you want to do is when it hits the water, let it sit there a few seconds before you begin to retrieve it. And you start retrieving, whether it be the broken back, which is going to give you a whole lot more action than this one. This one gives you a lot of action, but because the tail on it is not broken, it's not going to give you quite as much. But this one just kind of wobbles through the water, kind of like that. The broken back is going to have a lot more real sharp turns in the back gonna get a little more, more action out of the tail part of it. But look at the eyes on those things. These lures haven't changed since the 60s. No reason for them to change. They catch big fish. Now when you're fishing with big lures, you're gonna need to be patient. You're not gonna catch a big bass on every cast, but even they tell you that on the back of the uh, packaging, just give you an idea if you've never used it, how to fish it. But and the fishing style hadn't changed on these things in, since 1963. It's got a little, one little paragraph on how to fish it. It just says that a valuable tip is for the angler to rem remember to be patient when fishing this lure. When it hits the water, leave it set for a couple of seconds before you retrieve it. Retrieve it with a slow retrieve, and if that doesn't produce a strike, then go to a stop and go retrieve, pausing it every few cranks. Usually the strike will come when you resume your retrieve, so be ready. And I can say that I've caught more fish on this thing just with a natural slow retrieve coming back to the, to the boat. I've checked, I've, twitched it and and I can't say I don't catch fish that way but I have caught a whole lot more just by reeling it real slow and being ready for the strike because a big bass is not going to chase a lure off coming in at full speed on a 7-1-1 retrieve rate. You're going to have to slow it way down if you're going to catch big bass most times of the year, especially in the summer. I've caught all of my big bass in the summer. My largest bass always come in the summer in the heat of the day. Haven't really caught 
a lot of real large bass early in the morning. My largest bass come between 9 and 12. One. Now in the fall, when it cools off a little bit, you can really get some big strikes around 2, 2.30 or 3. And I'm talking fishing in shallow water. I don't fish in deep water. Now when I bring my kayak in close to the boat, I mean close to the bank, I will cast out into the deeper water from the bank and reel it back, especially if I know there's stumps out there or hidden cover. It may be five to eight feet deep out there, but this thing is not running, but about three feet deep max. So the bass is coming up and hitting it. It's not going down to them. I'm not, it, it's not like you using a jig or a worm that goes all the way to the bottom. Those big bass are coming up out of their habitat, out of their hiding place and tearing these things up. So I highly suggest if you have never used one of these to do it. I don't know of a better lure that just runs right below the surface. And you hardly ever lose them because you're fishing in shallow water and you can really get them back. Like if, unless you throw it way up in a tree, which you shouldn't be doing. I have done that, but I haven't really lost a big one like this because I'm pretty particular about how I cast it. So I just thought I'd share that with you. But if you've never tried them, I think you should. Well, matter of fact, I know you should. Start out with the solid back first. And then if you don't get any results with that, then you go to your broken back. But now I'm just talking fishing big fish. I'm not trying to go out and catch little fish. I don't even take little lures with me. I don't even want to be tempted to just get frustrated and start fishing for little fish. Anybody can catch a little fish. I mean, some of the little fish not even worth a photograph. But when you get that big one, that's what, that's where you get your photo ops. Catch and release always. I hope it's the way you do. I mean, why would you want to take a big bass home and eat him? He doesn't, he's too big, she's too big. If you're gonna eat bass, eat the small ones, but let those big ones go, especially the five pounders. Four or five pounders, you gotta let them go because they will continue to grow. They'll get up over 10 pounds if you doesn't, and they stay in a healthy habitat. So I just thought I'd share that with you and hopefully I'll hear that you've done well with these, but I really think you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't try them. And once you start, uh, you'll never be without one in your tackle, tackle box. So. Thanks for watching, and always remember to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life.